Good morning, everyone. It's me. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, and I just thought, oh, Alicia, just, just don't. You're going to end up saying something offensive. But I have to. So I got a phone call from a client a while ago, and they called in to say that they weren't coming anymore because my dad was diagnosed with mental illness and they just couldn't handle how sad it was to see someone like that. At that moment, I was like, what the hell? Why are you calling to waste my time and tell me you won't be coming anymore because you can't handle to see the sadness? How many people walk through my door when I'm working I'm doing hair and nails and I'm trying to make people happy and every single person comes in with a problem. What if I were to close my door and say, you know what, you guys are just too sad. Your stories are too sad and it makes me depressed at the end of the day when I have to listen to you. It doesn't make sense and it's stupid. It's honestly so stupid and maddening when I hear somebody say that. If you, want, if you have concern for somebody, and you're mad and upset when you look at that person, show support, be there for that person. Cause God forbid, God forbid, karma, karma will get you so badly when you're in that mindset and you just have to shield your eyes. What do you think closing your eyes is gonna make the problem go away? Imagine if everybody thought like that. Oh, well, you know what? I'm just not gonna go into the salon and I'm just not gonna see Simon and his family because, oh, it's just too sad. We have bills to pay. We're a family. We work as a family and a team. If people stopped coming to us, we'd be on the street. We wouldn't be able to pay our bills. Depression is sad. But look at yourself. Are you a perfect person? Do you wake up without anxiety and depression and sad moments? Nobody's perfect. Everybody has a struggle. And people in this, in this like society just have this mindset. If this person is less than perfect, if this person is depressed or gay or trans or struggling with depression or can't find a job or can't get their life together, well, I just can't associate with them because they're not perfect. What is perfect? Look at you. When did you wake up in the best mood ever and have the best day ever from start to finish? Nobody's life is like that. Every day people have problems. Every day people have anxiety. You can't turn your eyes. Stay at home if you can't handle the sadness. This is the real world. The real world can't exist without yin and yang. Positive and negative every day. You cannot have happiness without sadness. This is your journey. This is what God has gifted with you. And let me tell you, the harder your life is, the more successful you're going to be if you can get through it. If you find your support system, a lot of people get lost. That's what I've noticed when I was in the facility in the mental ward with my father. A lot of people are lost and a lot of people do not have the support. This is why I started my support circles. So many people that are trans or gay or abused, mentally ill, um, they have been victims of rape, have contacted me. People from across Canada that can't come to my circle but need help. They don't have anybody to talk to because of people like you that shield your eyes. Oh, I can't come because I can't see this sadness. It's so stupid and it makes me so upset and mad. So please, any one of you, if you see something sad, look and learn from it. You know? It could be you. What makes you think you can't be depressed or mentally ill or sad or a victim of rape? Just because of your age, your color, your race. It could be anybody. Those people on the street, street people, homeless people, hobos, which by the way, I'm seeing some um, Halloween costume where people are dressing up as hobos. I don't think that's a very um, appropriate costume. I don't think that should be on this, uh, like out on Halloween. It's not funny, it's not cute. It's, it's actually very, very sad. And a lot of these people are struggling with mental illness and they didn't choose to be homeless. So choose your costumes wisely. Okay? Anyway, when you see sadness on the street and everything, you know, offer support. Smile. Ask a person, what's wrong? Maybe all they need is talking to. Because sometimes people get so depressed and so under, 
I have friends that have taken their life because they felt like they had nobody to speak to because nobody understands. When you are narrow-minded and you shield yourself from pain and worry because you don't want to be depressed, you're letting somebody down and potentially they could take their life. So just realize every action that you make and every time you shield your eyes and every time you decide you're just not going to get involved because it's a bad situation or it's sad, you are potentially ruining somebody's life. And honestly, it, it makes you a bad person. It makes you a very bad person because everybody goes through it. Everybody has a tough time. Nobody is absolutely happy. And to Joseph Waterhead, am I going to help them? And if not, shut up. Excuse me, I started a support circle. I started talking to people. I go out and donate my time. What are you going to do to help people? This is why I make these videos. What are you going to do? I've taken my step up and I volunteer with people. Do something. Do something to help people. All these people that put blame on others. Well, where were you? How did you help somebody? No, I'm doing this so you can look inside yourself and improve yourself so you can be of service to your society. Instead of sitting home and watching Netflix, you could be volunteering and doing something for your community. So what are you going to do? That's my question. So I have to go to work now and listen to more life stories and more depressing people and try to help people get through their day with a smile because a smile is so hard to get around now. So what are you going to do for your community today and how are you going to be here for your friends and family? This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to inspire you to make a change and change the world and change this society that's so absorbed with themselves and their cell phones and what they have. It's not about that. You can't take that stuff with you. When you die, your soul is all you have. If you're a bad person, you will be judged. I'll leave that to God. Whatever you believe in, even if you're agnostic, you're still judged by other people. Even if you do not believe in God, you are judged by others. You can't run away from it. Regardless, what you do catches up with you in any form possible. In karma, if you don't believe in karma, whatever, it catches up with you. You can't run from anything that you do. So be a good person and go out and change the world. I have this amazing... Um, organization little black dress please check out this event it is unbelievable they help people that are underprivileged that can't afford um, clothes or have been through abuse or they help children in high schools and elementary schools go out into their community and make sandwiches and everything they're also um, it's the same directors that own help change my city if you want to volunteer please look up help change my city these people are unbelievable because I was talking about this with them. And it seems like people all over the world, if you offer them an opportunity to go to Africa and build houses and everything, oh sure, yeah, yeah, but inside it's so selfish. People want to help people overseas because they want to do something that benefits themselves. It's for traveling. You know what I mean? It's for you. It's self-benefit. But look in your back alleys and in your streets and on your downtown east side. Look at that. We have homeless in our streets, in our country that need help. Canadian people that need help. Look to your alley before you look to another city or continent. We have people that are struggling. And we can help them. Stop buying a $4 Starbucks drink and donate something to help. Or volunteer your time. Personally, I don't believe in throwing money at problems because there's too many hands involved and sometimes all the money doesn't get there. Volunteer your time and make a difference in somebody's life because that interaction, that face-to-face -face interaction that you're going to have with somebody is going to change your life and theirs. Nobody forgets a helpful soul. When somebody is down, nobody forgets the person that helped them. I will never forget the people that have helped me when my father was down. Never. Because without them, I would have fallen so much harder. And because of them, I didn't fall. And it's amazing. So that's what we need. We need support and we need stronger communities. So that's my video for today. I love you guys and I wish you all the best and success. And I wish you to go out and make a difference. That's why I'm making these videos. So please go out and make a difference. Thanks.